nice and easy. Ooh, fatty. Oh, get up. Can't even see it. Might have gone in the water. One, two, three, hitting par. This is for par. Oh, sit. Definitely bladed it. Sit, sit. Sit, sit. Whoa, rolling, rolling. Dang, I barely hit that thing. Oh, sit, sit. Woo. Dang, let's spin. <laughs> get up. Jeez. Oh, at the tree. Oh, hit that one thin. Three putts from back at Riverside. Be right. Oh, bro. Over. Oh, it's good? Yeah, yeah, it is good. Oh, I can't even see it. No, 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 no. What up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. You saw the last video, the front nine here at Falcon Head. You know that my mic that I have there on my polo shirt attached to it, the wireless mic right there, the battery on it went out on the front nine towards the end. So, and I don't realize that until probably three quarters of the way through of this back nine. So I'm gonna go ahead and voice over the holes here. Driver, th short, par four to the right. As you can see there, I just beamed it low to the right. And I was thinking, all right, everybody's like, ah, oh, you're good out there. I was like, cool, all right, sounds good. I get down there and I can't find my ball. So I went ahead and just said, screw it, I'm gonna drop. It's hitting third shot here, smooth little gap wedge, 52 degree, and I did straight pull it. As soon as I hit it, I felt it. It's all handsy on it and just went straight left to it. Then I was like, all right, well, let's see if I can get it close, make bogey and get out of here. A little 60 degree lob wedge. And I was hoping it kicked to the right right there, but it didn't, it stayed straight. And I was like, man, that would've been sweet. All right, so now for bogey, roughly about three feet, Lately, uh, as far as my putting, I've kind of trying to switch things up as far as my pre-shot routine and how I address the ball there. See, as you can see, the ball is on the left side of my foot. So I kind of hit it as I go up. And I've been noticing that's been helping lately, but uh, I've been seeing some people on TikTok that I've been seeing some videos of some of their guys say that I should play the ball to the center of my stance. So I might play with that on my putting the next few times. Uh, next hole is, is hole 11, par three, 144. Smooth little nine iron. Pin is, uh, I think it's in the front to front center. Wind was dying down, sun was going down, nice and cool breeze. Boom, I felt that good too. As soon as I hit, I was like, oh, that's money. Yeah, knocked it close right there, roughly about 25, 30 feet. I was like, all right, let me see if I can get this close. Nice and smooth. As you can see right there, I'm working on tempo as I look to the cup to see how hard of the stroke I wanna hit. You can see the ball still positioned on the left side of my foot. And I try to keep my head down through the follow through and then kind of pick my head up when I putt uh, to kind of help me stay, not, not come up when I'm putting through the, through the follow through. Hole 12, part five, 509. First part five of the back nine. There was a guy and his kid on this fairway just took forever to get off. The kid was playing in the dirt or something and we we're just standing on the tee box like, yo, come on, man. You see us back here waiting, little foursome move. <laughs> hit this driver, I felt so good when I hit it. It was going a little bit to the right, but it felt so good when I hit it. I was like, all right, I should be down there somewhere because I couldn't see it. Second shot is uh, about 225, hit a three iron. The tracer here didn't pick it up when I, when I put it. I think it's because the sun was in the way. But I hit a little fat, and I know I did. I was like, damn it, hit it fat. So now I'm roughly just under 100 yards, busting out the 60 degree lob wedge. And I was just thinking, all right, just get it on the green and two putt and let's go. And I hit it thin. <laughs> as soon as I hit it, I was like, oh man, that's going way over. I felt that thing just skull the whole vibration up the shaft to my hands. It was like, oh, that's over. 15 yards past the green. Now I'm like, all right, four shot for birdie. Let's see if I can get this close, make par and chip it up there. You know, and I'm carrying the tripod with me with the camera everywhere to try to get a good shot. And sometimes I'm trying to get in a hurry because some of the group is like waiting for me. So I'm going back and forth, you know, back of the green, front of the green. And it just gets kind of, I know it gets kind of irritated with some of the guys in the group. For par, oh, missed it. A little tap in bogey. Moving on to the next hole. We got hole 13, par four, three, seven, two. Again, beautiful shot, man. Beautiful into the, into the sunset, I love it. And I just keep hitting these balls low. And I think, I think it's because my position at address of the ball, I don't tilt my shoulders a little bit to the right. Like I'm swinging up at it and I have a nine degree driver and I've been debating where to change that to a 10 or 10 and a half degree to kind of get more loft on the ball. And then we got now the ball landed just on the left side and you can see the trees there in the way. And I knew this was kind of, I couldn't hit an iron because uh, I felt like I was gonna hit a tree. So I was like, all right, let me take out a seven iron, do a little quick punch so I can roll it up there. 
you see where the ball's at, left side, of, way in the left side of my stance there, I'm trying to get it on the upstroke, but I notice I do that a lot, like it pulls a lot, and I know it's probably because it's playing on the left side of, of my stance. So I'm working on a lot of moving the ball more center of my stance when I putt and try to just get it in the forward motion of my follow through. So that's kind of something I'm working on. If you guys have any good putting drills, man, leave a comment down below, I'd love to know that. Hole 14, par five, 454 yards, busting out driver, there's bunkers on the right side that's reachable. I was thinking, all right, let me go ahead and just get it out there. And I felt good on this one, I just crushed it. But you can see the trajectory, it's low, it's really low. So I'm thinking, man, I gotta do something about that because I know you lose a lot of distance when you don't get really the ball up in the air. Ball ended up rolling up uh, past the bunker there. After this shot is when I noticed, I noticed the audio was off and I was just thinking, man, the audio was off the whole time. Second shot here in hole 14, a little, a little over 150 yards. I was debating where to hit a full nine, but I'm thinking, you know what? Let me just smooth swing an eight iron. Don't try to be powering the, the ball, the club so much. And as soon as I hit it, I hit it fat. I was like, damn it. And it might've been the position where I was at because the ball was a little above my feet, but I just knew I hit it fat there. So the audio you hear now is straight in body from the camera. There's no mic attached to it. Now we got third shot, 60 yards, little 60 degree, and a smooth swing lob wedge up there. I really haven't been trying to go to the pin. I'm just trying to ease the, the center of the green and see what I can do. Nice little smooth swing. I was telling myself just to get it there because right now when I start walking, you hear that right there, you hear the squishiness of the grass. So you can tell it's a lot of moisture in there. So greens are rolling really slow. Next hole, hole 15, busted out driver, 395. I was like, all right, let me just get it down to the fairway. And man, that one felt so good. Best driver of the day, I knew it. Damn, that one was the best driver of the day. <laughs> as soon as I hit it, hit as soon as I hit it, I felt it. Now roughly 130, 130 yards. yards. Now I'm kind of talking with my usual routine without the mic, so it's sound, you, can, you can tell the sound picks up everything around, it, around me. It's not centered to where I'm at, because I'm not wearing the mic. And then we got for birdie putt. I'm thinking, man, towards these last few holes, I've been playing all right. Nice and smooth, little putting stroke. I'm like, all right, let me get it up there. It's been, everything's been short, so let me at least give it a chance to get it out there. For birdie. Yeah. Oh, I'm counting that one. Exactly. What the hell? I'm counting that one. Because of the pin, the way it looked. I don't care what y'all say. That's a birdie. Let's do it. Let's do it. We got a part three. Let's do it. I like it. I like it. Right there, we were deciding. All right, do we just call it a day? It's like screw it. Let's see how many holes we can get till it gets dark. At this point, I couldn't even tell where the ball was going. It just going off a of feel. And this one felt pretty good. Just short of the green here. And I was like, all right, I can't even see it. Let me just get a good stroke up there. It ended up being pretty good. Nice little lag putt. Give me a little putt par and get out of there. In the dark, baby. <laughs> All right, this is the last shot that I had recorded before it got too dark. And I just, and then this one felt good too. Just crushed it. That one felt amazing. We are on the last hole, technically hole 17. But as you can tell, it is extremely dark. Just hit a perfect jive on the fairway, and I hit it on the green right now on this par four. So we're gonna, I'm gonna end the video out right here. Appreciate you guys watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Comment down below. Uh, more content coming. Appreciate all the love and support, y'all. Have a great week, and keep crushing. Peace out.